Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. It is the 16th of April, 2024. My name is Kyle and this is Maker Notes. Mrs. Olson is wearing a new scarf and it's really beautiful. It is the thing that we can make using the kit that we have to talk to you about today. This is called the Lindell Toratella. It is by a designer named Volton and it uses two different yarns and short rows to make a really interesting shape. So the Turritella is a shell, um, and so it's inspired by that shell shape. And it begins here, down at the beginning. And you can see that the short row sections use a yarn that changes color, and they're bordered by a solid yarn, so it makes a really interesting graphic pattern. This um, this scarf comes in five different sizes. This is the size large, so this is the fourth out of five sizes. There's one that's a little bit bigger, but the kit that we're offering has enough yarn to make any of the sizes. So you can make the largest one if you like, or um, whichever size works best for you. So if you want to also, uh, if you don't want to wear it as a scarf, I think it'd be really awesome as a table runner. It's a really fun um, graphic pattern. And uh, so it could go on a table or a console, that kind of thing. And then when the weather starts getting colder again, you could wear it as a, as a scarf. And I think also it's really interesting how the pattern is uh, larger scale on one side and smaller on the other. What is in the kit? Of course, the pattern. So we purchased this pattern through Ravelry from the designer. If you, uh, when you're when you're adding the kit to your cart, give us your Ravelry name. We will put the pattern in your library when we buy it. So you'll have it as a digital pattern there. If you don't use Ravelry or you don't have it, that's fine. We'll just send the pattern digitally to the email that you use when you check out. So that's where the digital pattern goes. We also are printing a copy of it for you. We do that whenever we're buying patterns for you and we will include um, it in a page protector, sheet protector. That goes in with the, all the other stuff that you buy. It'll go in your package. So when you get your shipment, you'll have the pattern printed and ready to go if you're analog like me. Um, and then of course you have the yarn. So what is this yarn? So the, um, the border, the solid yarn, this is the scallop colorway. That's the colorway of our sample. The, um, the solid yarn is Sueño. This is color 1152 Dusty Rose. Sueño is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon, and there are 265 yards in a 100 gram hank. In this kit, you're getting two hanks of Sueño, okay? So this is the Sueño. And then also the multi yarn, um, is going to be gradient. So gradient is a yarn from Sheppel. It is a pre-felted, so it's a single ply yarn that goes through a really special pre-felt process. So it, um, it doesn't pill and get all pilly when you're wearing it. Um, gradient itself is 100% virgin merino. It is 284 yards and a 100 gram ball. So you're gonna get two of these and you'll get uh, two hanks, like I said, of the swing, swing you by Haiku. Um, one other thing to mention about gradient is each ball is a little bit different in its color, like the color ring in a color way is, um, is determined, right? It's like, this is what colors are in it, but from one ball to the next, they all look a little bit different. So we'll choose two for you and you'll have those ready to go in your kit. Also in the kit, you're going to get a Scassell by Addy Rocket, a fixed circular. This is a 24 inch US 7. That's the size uh, needle that was used to make this sample. So if you knit to the same gauge as we did, then you'll be able to cast on because you have your needle, you have your yarn, you have the pattern printed, and, um, and what else do you need? right? Time. <laughs> Time is not included. So that is the scallop colorway, two balls of gradient, two hanks of sueño, the needle, and the pattern. Those are the things that are in the kits. So now let me show you the different color combos. So this one is called Cowrie, and that is sueño and mountain fog. This is color 1202. 
It's a really pretty grayish color, like a wormish gray. And then gradient in 2359. So 2359, you can see it's got this berry color and then there's little peaks of different colors. So it, it's got sort of an orange and it goes into sort of this fun acidy green. There's more of the orange there. So that's the 2359. These two together are the cowrie colorway. Then what are we gonna do? Nautilus, Nautilus is this one. This is 1147, it's Turks, beautiful blue, Com um, combined with this one from Gradient. This is color 2594, which also has, if we look way down in there, it's got a little peak of blue in there as well. It's got some pink. So that'll be a really fun combination for the Nautilus colorway. Then um, let's do this one. This is Conch. Conch is a green. So this is color 1201 Sage for all of our green lovers. And then it is paired with um, Gradient 2306, which is a green, but it goes into sort of a creamy color and then it has bits of gray. So this will be a nice greenish neutral option, the Conch colorway. Then for all of the people who love purple, this is Forget Me Not. This is 1151 in Sueño. And again, you're getting two hanks of Sueño. You get two balls of um, gradient. This is 2307. So 2307 is a lovely sort of dusty, um, cooler color palette. It does get a little bit of a rosy color in there as well. So two balls of gradient, two hanks of Sueño, and of course that needle. And then the last one here is Venus Comb. Venus Comb, this is 1139 Mulberry. And it's gonna get paired with, so this is sort of an autumn uh, fall palette. This is Gradient 2479. So that's the Venus Comb colorway. Pretty, right? So uh, that is the kit, the Lindell Turatella um, scarf. You're gonna get that needle, you get the printed pattern, of course, all of the yarn, like I mentioned. So that's kind of fun. What else? Oh, Sueño. So what if you don't wanna do this? You just wanna do something else that's fun. So we also um, have Sueño just on its own at 18% off. So maybe you wanna do a sweater or you wanna knit a blanket or a something, 18% off Sueño now through Sunday. That is the offer that we have for you so you're able to stock up on this really lovely squishy yarn as well. So 18% off Sueño or get the kit. The kit is of course um, a great savings for that sort of um, collection of materials. Now, once you're done knitting your thing, whatever it is, or crocheting a piece, then we want to wash and block our, um, our hand knits. And I, um, I always do it by hand. I don't like to put any of the things that I spent all that time, you know, knitting or crocheting into a washing machine. So I do, it, do uh, the washing part by hand. And there is a kind of wash from Unicorn. This is called Power Scour and the shine on the lights is going to make it hard to see. So Power Scour is um, a really powerful detergent. You don't need very much at all. Power Scour has a scent. So this is a lavender scented um, wash for your hand knits, hand crochet, that kind of thing. And it is fantastic um, at removing stains and stuff and it doesn't yellow. Um, a little of this goes a long way. So that is the kind to wash. If you want a scent-free option, then Beyond is the, the um, word you want to look for. So Beyond Clean is the um, cleaner, the wash that is scent free. So Beyond Clean is scent free and it is a lovely, uh, powerful detergent. Um, or if you'd like a little bit of scent, then the lavender scented one is called Power Scour. Those are the two to wash. And if you would like to, um, it's already washed, you just wanna sort of block it or whatever, you can use this conditioner. So this is called Fiber Rinse. It also has that light lavender scent. Um, it is an anti-static conditioner. Um, it rinses clear, so that's really awesome. And it's great for lingerie and stuff like that as well, like your hand washable things. Um, this has that light lavender scent. If you want no scent and you want to do that conditioning bath and beyond soft is the one that you want. So these two are the, um, the ones that sort of condition hand knits or fibers, that kind of thing. And if you want to get all of the dirt or soil or whatever out, Power Scour has um, a little bit of lavender scent. 
Beyond Clean is uh, unscented. So check those out. And then next is our little tiny uh, stitch marker. I've been having a lot of fun with the stuff from Firefly Notes. This is a really adorable little ro robin. This um, enameled design was created by Firefly Notes and it has a um, closed ring on here. It fits up to a size, I think, US 10 or 11, something like that. Um, it's a cute, cute little uh, bird. And since the birds are coming out, we thought we'd show you a little birdie stitch marker. Um, they design all of the graphics for the cards. They hand assemble all of these different little stitch markers and everything up in Canada. We love uh, Firefly Nuts and we love sharing their little um, creations with you. So check out those. And then what else? Oh, the last two things. So we have two classes coming up next week. Both of them are being led by Faina Goberstein. Both are on line through Zoom. So if you're interested in either of these, please sign up. Make sure that you do that before the classes fill. We keep our classes very small so that you have lots of time to talk with the instructor. It is very much like hanging out with a knowledgeable friend who is showing you um, sort of everything they know or as much as they can share in the couple hours that we have um, about the different topics. So the first one is perfecting buttonholes and button bands. So this one is a great class for people who love to do cardigans and things and maybe you have some challenges figuring out how many buttons should I put on this piece and where do those buttons need to live and then once I figure that out, how do I know where to actually make the buttonholes and what's the best one for this project? This is that class. So that is gonna be on Wednesday, the 24th. These classes are both from 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific time. So uh, Wednesday, April 24th, 5 to 7 Pacific is the button band workshop. And then the other one is a beginning lace class. So if you are new to lace, it's something that you wanted to learn. Well, this is a great opportunity. Faina is going to demystify reading charts and what do all those symbols mean and how do you um, perform the different things that are involved in creating lace. That workshop is on Thursday, so next Thursday, not this week, but next week, the 25th of April from 5 to 7 p.m. So I think, my friends, that is it for a beautiful Tuesday. It is amazing weather here, the most beautiful day we've had so far this year. Hopefully the weather is lovely where you are as well. Make sure you take time to do something this week for yourself. Reach out to friends and family, as I always say, and uh, I'll see you again on Friday with something else exciting to talk about. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye.